Welcome to Picture Healer channel. This is Shi Tian. Today we want to talk about dreams and how to analyze your dreams. Everybody dreams, doesn't matter your age, your gender, or cultural background. There are many different types of dreams. Some can be significant and have some special message. We can try to analyze. Other dreams can be just a reflection of your environment, what you worry about in the day, and you dream about it at night. First, we'll see several common types of dreams. The first type can be just a reflection of what's on your mind during the daytime. Maybe you are worried about something and it shows up in your dream at night. It can be a reflection of what you see and how you feel during the daytime. So that's a very straightforward type of dream. And the second type is similar. It shows your worry and stress and the emotion will show up at nighttime as a dream. You might not notice in the daytime, but at nighttime your emotion will be magnified and your subconscious can show clearly. So that's another type of dream we can look into our own emotions. The third type is like wishful thinking. Maybe you want a lot of money or you wish to marry some famous person. So that can happen during the nighttime. In the reality, it might be totally opposite. You might be struggling financially and having problem meeting the right person. It can be an opposite dream or just wishful thinking. And that's just a reflection of what you really want in your life. Another type is related to your physical and external environment when you are sleeping. For example, when you are sleeping and you hear some loud noise, you might dream of some shooting or fighting. If you keep dreaming, you have to go to restroom right away. It might be just that you need to go to restroom physically. Or sometimes people will put their hands on the chest when they sleep. You might have a dream of feeling compressed or somebody sitting on you, you cannot move. Some of them are actually related to the physical position or environmental stimulations around you. So those are not really prediction dream or dreams with some special message. But it can be a reminder about your health if you keep having similar dreams. Maybe you can improve your sleeping environment and sleeping postures and check on your health so you can reduce this type of dream. The next type of dream can be more significant. It can be a prediction of yourself or your friends or your family members. And it can be a story in your dream with a lot of details and components and uh, each part of the dream can have symbolic meanings. We can interpret the meanings of the dreams and in relation to our own actual life. And the last type of dream can have the message from another dimension of the world. Maybe it's a message from your ancestor or a certain God if you are religious. Depending on the story in your dreams, it can be a warning sign. So you can do something to change the outcome or it can be a prediction of your future events. I know it sounds unscientific, but the dream analysis has been existing for a very, very long time. It's an outlet for our subconscious because at nighttime we are more relaxed we are less confined to logical thinking and that's a good chance for us to think outside the box and look at our life from a different perspective. That's why we hear a lot of stories of people try to solve some problems but cannot find a solution but after some sleep they found a solution in the dreams. So dreaming can be a very powerful tool, even though we don't know a lot about dreams and the science behind that, we can still benefit from dreaming. Next, we will talk about categories of dreams. 
for average human beings, we all have similar problems. So that will include health, money, career or business, family, relationship, travel, and the emotional well-being. And a dream can give you an insight to one category or several categories at once. Sometimes it's very obvious and your dream is very specific about a special person you meet at work. Or sometimes it can be very abstract. You just feel like you are falling down. And that can be an indication of your luck going down during this time. But in general, your dreams can tell you stories or your situations about these few categories. And next, we want to talk about the components of dreams. We are basically talking about the prediction dream and the symbolic dreams with some messages. And your dream is basically a story. It has a beginning, middle, and ending. It has some drama in the middle and you feel certain emotion during that situation. And every component is important in dream analysis. So the best idea is to write it down as soon as you wake up so you don't forget it. And that will include the time and location of the dream and the people you meet or any signs or names you see in the dream. And of course, the feelings in the dream is important too. And one general rule is that if the ending is good, no matter how hard or difficult the dream might seem, if the ending is good, usually you will have good outcome, even from a very difficult situation. If the ending is bad, then the outcome is probably negative. But everybody's interpretation will be different, depends on your own situation. When you dream of a dog, it might be different from another person dreaming of the dog. So we also have to consider our own personal situation and background. And that will change the meaning of the dreams too. And one very famous Chinese dream analysis book is from the Zhou Dynasty. If you study Chinese metaphysics, including the fortune telling or feng shui, you probably heard of this book. It includes a lot of analysis for different objects. And they have many different categories. For example, the earth, moon, and star and the trees and for example there's a category for our body part and hair and a category for clothing and shoes a category for knife and clock and the list goes on and on it's a very good reference book if you are interested in dream analysis I don't think it will apply to everybody in every situation, but it's a very good starting point. And then you can interpret it according to your own situation. In the near future, I can have a video about common dream symbols and the meaning behind it. And we all have those type of dreams, such as going back to exam or falling from a very high place or flying up or down. We can talk more about the specific symbols in the future. And the last, we want to talk about recurring dreams. If you keep having the same dream or similar dreams again and again, it might be something you have to pay more attention to. Maybe it's related to your health or the way you sleep then you can check with the doctor first. Or the other possibility is there's a message in your dream and that's significant. And you can analyze it, find out the message and take actions in your real life. So that's a very basic of the dream analysis according to Chinese metaphysics. In the near future, we're going to talk about symbols in dreams and their meanings. And we will also continue our purple, white, flying star, feng shui chart analysis 
from the A charts based on the house sitting and facing directions. I hope you like this video. Stay safe and talk to you next week.